Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Tudak Tenoriana As our lecturer in subject BPB34502 Leadership and Supervision Section 4 Here we would like to present our group presentation Which is our literature study Related to three construction organizations Before that, may I introduce my group members Starting from me, Nur Ari Nashafika binti Marzuki AP190254 Hanis Shazwani binti Ramli AP190460 Siti Nur Haliza binti Muhammad Fuad AP190384 Shalini Anak Perempuan Shalinggam AP190228 Darshini Anak Perempuan Krishanan AP190224 And lastly, Muhammad Aiman Shamil bin Musa AP190383 This is our tables of content that would like our presentation Which is uh, introduction, background company, conclusion and recommendation First of all is introduction. Contents of introduction. Leadership is one of the factors that are considered determinants in the success of an institution. Leadership will usually involve two parties, namely the person leading or referred to as leader or the person being led. Leadership usually occurs when a person encourages, persuades and influences others to work towards the achievement of a particular objective. By Carter 2007, state that uh, leadership is a natural trait in which an individual is capable of leading a group of people by ensuring that each of his employees is motivated. By Glennon, 2014, leadership traits also have ambition and energy or drive, the desire to lead, honesty and integrity, self-confidence, intelligence and job-relevant knowledge. First is Ohio State Study. This theory consists of two dimensions, namely initial structure and consideration. Initial structure refers to the extent to which a leader is likely to define and structure his or her role and the role of subordinates in working to achieve goals. This behavior lets it to organize work, work relationships, and the purpose of consideration. Next is University of Michigan. This have introduced two dimensions of leadership behavior, namely employee orientation and production orientation. Employee-oriented leaders will need of subordinate employees and accept the individual difference of exit within the group. Production is, on the other hand, emphasize the technical aspects to achieve group tasks by cuts and cut 1966. While the managerial grid by Blake and Monten also introduced two dimensions of leadership, namely line grid based on the style of caring people and caring against production. This is the managerial grid look like. So next is attribution leadership theory. Attribution theory is context of leadership says that leadership is a perception that people associate with other individuals. In other words, this theory is based on the observation that followers have certain perception of their leaders. People describe their leaders with intelligent, open, articulate, aggressive, hardworking, efficient, and so on. One of discovery is a respected leader is consistency in decision making and assertiveness. Leaders who accept complicated tasks or difficult struggles may be succeed to be tasked or struggle, also considered a hero. Next is charismatic leadership. This focuses on charisma and non-charisma. Charisma said to have and characteristic is self-confidence, influence and seriousness by House 1971. But Venice and Nenes found that charismatic have four important characteristics, which is clear and interesting vision, can communicate their vision, demonstrate consistency and convergence, and lastly, recognize that powerfully. So next is a visionary leadership theory. Visionary is ability of a leader to articulate a realistic, reasonable and compelling vision to a future of an organization. This leader should have the skills to identify insights, explain insights to others and communicate insights through speech and behavior as well as channel insights into different leadership contexts by Robbins 1998. And next is a transformational le leadership theory. Transformational types uh, inspire their followers to overcome interests themselves for the sake of organization and ability to perform impact. Last 1980, state four characteristics of type leaders of transformation, which is charisma, inspiration, encourage intellectual understanding, and lastly, consideration individually. So, what can we conclude by that? Leaders are individuals who can influence other individuals in an organization. Something interesting in leadership will exist of leaders who are in an organization that has its own structure by creating relationship of leaders and followers to achieve excellence. Excellent achievement in an organization requires steps or activities planned by the leader to encourage his followers to increase their determination and determination towards the excellent to organization. Therefore, effort towards the unification of activities of an organization depend greatly of the ingenuity of a leader. So that's all for my part, and my mind member will continue to another part. Thank you, Latin. Now I'm going to continue with my part. I'm going to explain about the background of the Gamuda Berhad Company. Gamuda Berhad is a Malaysian engineering property and infrastructure firm. It is the Malaysia's largest infrastructure company with projects including the construction of Klang Valley MRT lines, highways, airport runways, railways, and the development of new townships. The group managing director are Dato Lim Yung Ling and Tan Sri Dato I.R. Talhabi, Haji Muhammad Rashid. 
The company was incorporated on 6 October 1976. It was listed on the main board of Bursa Malaysia on 10 August 1992. One of the full significant project is the Shalam Expressway. This company is focusing on the three core business, which is engineering and construction, infrastructure concessions, and the last one is the property development. Now we are going to look at the leadership and the supervision in the Gamura company. The first one is the visionary leadership. Ratulin is the managing director of this company. With his entrepreneurial vision and strategic leadership skills, he is focused on growing the core business of the group and leveraging on the differentiating strengths of the planet pool. The second one is the ethical leadership. This Gamula company prioritizes ethical and transparent procurement and environmental preservation, product stewardship and responsible involvement across all divisions and subsidiaries. These strategies are organized to achieve their business goal, to improve efficiency and performance, and also to develop strong leadership qualities among the employees. The last leadership is the coaching leadership. The Gamula company guarantees that it employs both in a healthy and safe environment. To improve their performance and the loyalty, training and development programs are offered to train and provide them with chances for professional advancement. Now we are going to look at the roles of the top management. The role of the board, who is responsible to the shareholder for ensuring that the company is well managed and accomplished its goals. The second one is the roles of the chairman and group managing director. They share responsibility for group leadership to maintain a proper balance of authority and accountability. The last one is the role of operational managers or heads of departments who are responsible for identifying risks that may have impact in meeting their unique business objectives. There are also some advantages and disadvantages of the leadership and supervision style of the organization. Advantages. The first one is enhanced ethical business culture. The second one is leads to increase in productivity. Disadvantage. Not enough expertise in manufacturing raw material compared to competitor in terms of civil manufacture. That's all from me. Thank you. Today, I will talk about the company background of the Hobson B. Berhad HSL. Uh, the leadership and the supervision of the company and the advantages and disadvantages of the leadership and the supervision in the company. First, the, co the company background. Hot Seng Lee Berhad HSL originally date back to the early 1970s when two brothers of the Yu Yi family acquired a timber degrading vessel. Hot Seng Lee and established what was principally a sand degrading and landfill operation. The firm Hot Seng Lee Development Group Co. was registered in 1974 and cooperative to become Hock Seng Lee Development Company, Sengram Rahat in 1979. The company bought more vessels to transport sand and other cargo to begin acquiring heavy machinery to support their land field work. Over the last 30 years, HSL has taken on land reclamation project of increasing size and complexity, acquiring complementary exp expertise in soil improvement work, sure protection, drainage, rural water supply and wastewater management system. It is now capable of a wide range of complex marine infra infrastructure, civil engineering and construction work. It has also diversified into property development under wholly owned subsidiary Hot Seng Lee Construction Centre. <coughs> now we will go to the leadership and supervision in the organization. Dedicated staff and dynamic management. HSL executive directors are hand on leaders who are actively involved in the day to day operations of the company as well as the strategic planning. Management and business development. People are recognized as the company's most crucial asset. HSL, Philitrix, Christia, Catering and Sport, as well as its new letters. The HSL has Harold contribute to the spirit of comedy right and family like atmosphere cultivated by the management to professional safety and health is given to priority with the team responsibility for advisor to project manager, safety, briefings, assessment of needs for personal protective equipment, safety practice on site and originally ensures staff, welfare and accident prevention at the worksite. The, the management comprises a highly motiva motivated and stable team of professional and qualified technological personnel. Now, we go to the advantages of the leadership and supervision. The first one is lead to increase in productivity. One of the advantages of leadership is that if leaders are able to distribute duties properly, they may assist boost worker productivity. Good manager can assess the strength and limitation of various people and assign tasks accordingly. The second one is boosted employer morale. Good leadership may boost employer morale and make employers more loyal, more loyal to the firm. When circumstances are bad, loyal employers may be ready to put in extra effort and stay with the firm. The disadvantage of the leadership and supervision. Detract from the complementation of tasks. One of the leadership's limitations is to ensure that the staff have the resources and training they require. It is not a productive task, but it is necessary to spend time relating education uh, in order to ensure that they execute their job effectively. Managers do not create goods or services while serving as leaders. The last one is fosters a clash of personalities. Leader and subordinate may not always agree because at workplace has different personalities that will not always agree. This is one of the benefits and downside of the leader that people can avoid. Now, we will go to the next part. 
Okay, now I'm going to present about UEM Group Berhad. So the background of UEM Group Berhad. The core businesses of UEM Group Berhad is Express Waste, Township and Property Development, Engineering and Construction, Asset and Facility Management. Plus Malaysia Berhad is UEM Group's Express Way business in Malaysia. UEM Sunrise Berhad is the flagship firm of the UEM Group's Township and Property Development, development Operations. UEM Builders Berhad and Cement Industries of Malaysia Berhad execute iconic infrastructure projects. UEM Agenda Berhad is the Asset and Facility Management branch of the UEM Group. The Leadership and Supervision in UEM Group Berhad Before artwork begins, UEM Sunrise ensures that all roads at project sites, including access roads connecting public roadways, are paved. UEM Sunrise monitors discharge at project sites on a regular basis to reduce the impact of construction and operating operations on water quality. Designers, architects, and other experts assure the selection of environmentally friendly materials from the early phases of the design process as a fundamental approach for achieving sustainable construction. UEM Sunrise employ green and sustainable building solutions everywhere, such as solar photo photovoltaic array systems in residences and solar powered street lighting systems. The advantages and disadvantages of the leadership and supervision style of UEM Group Berhad. The advantages are, on the strength of good settlement of Australian projects, UEM Sunrise increased revenue in the year 2019 compared to 2018. UEM Sunrise went on a comprehensive rebranding effort as a part of their transformation journey to identify the best approach to engage with all of the stakeholders throughout the business activities. The disadvantages are, such as supply overhangs a week, domestic business climate, weak consumer sentiment, and a turbulent global geopolitical and economic environment. Next, the economic growth of EEM Group Berhad is anticipated to shrink due to the poor leadership and supervision style owing to the economic ramifications of the COVID-19 pandemic, the impact of which is still unknown. So that's all for my presentation for EEM Group Berhad. Thank you. I will present about the conclusion of the effective team criteria of a tree construction organization based on literature study that related to the topic. Changes are inevitable in construction project. During a construction project, many decisions have to be made, often based on incomplete information, assumption, and personal experience of the construction professional. Change is a common denominator in all construction projects. Tough the size, scope, and complexity of project may vary significantly from case to case. Change management is a critical problem faced by the construction industry. The effort of managing change orders has imposed a huge burden on project management. Change are identified as the major cause of project delay, cost overrun, defect, or even project failure. More seriously, playing games on change cause serious ethical problems and disputes in the industry. Changes in construction projects are very common and likely to occur from different sources by various causes at any stage of a project and may have considerable negative impact. This paper addressed the type of the changes, as well as their stakeholders, causes, impact and correction action in the context of typical stage in a construction project. Effectively managing change orders in construction processes is not trivial because change orders are a part of contract and they need to be strictly traced in terms of contract, documents, approval process, and payment claim. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my part in this group presentation is recommendation. There are seven recommendations. First is created game. Second is good relationship. Third is commitment. Fourth is take risk. Fourth is quickly manage conflict. Six is time and priority management. And the last one is acknowledge accomplishment. That's all for our group. Thank you.